Oh, I'm editing the farm vlog. Got a little visitor. I'm gonna tell you what, these uh, uh, washouts are as hard as concrete, you know? Oh yeah, now it's quieted down. Now I can hear my radio playing over in the field. Listen closely, you can hear it. But the neighbors are like several hundred yards away, the closest ones. Hey guys, Capper here. Welcome back and welcome to our new viewers. This is a uh, modern homestead farm blog. I'm going to bring you up to speed on the last few weeks of all the stuff that's been going on on our farm. And, and of course, we got a lot of different irons going on in the fire. So I'm going to bring you up to speed on some land management projects just a lot going on so we try to do this you know every two to four weeks keep our viewers up to speed on what's been going on so as usual it's been a busy summer so let's get into this week's farm vlog don't forget if you enjoy it please hit the like button please consider subscribing because we have a very unique channel we do a lot of different things and we try to enjoy life every day and we try to live each day as if we were dying and make the most of it so we hope you'll join us. Let's get some fresh air. This is all outdoor stuff. Country living, land management, and quit blabbing. Let's get into it. Thanks a lot. All right, here we are, Friday night, July 29th. All right, I swapped out the two Polaris machines. Mine is going in for uh, speakers that were supposed to be installed initially, but they were out of stock. And then I'm going to have them put a light bar on mine. Um, not, not quite one of them, but I'm going to have them put a 12 inch up here because uh, I did a night riding video and I thought it'd be nice to do I have a little bit more light but food plotting I broke down and I had to pay the man the piper I went to a co-op here I lost my seed supplier for grains which was Curtis because he lost his supplier um, and he also supplied pretty much everything that I got so I had to go to a co-op and what I got was three bags of winter wheat three bags of winter rye three bags of oats I think fertilizer wasn't too bad it was 25 bucks a bag I got just enough I think eight bags just enough to give it the starter fertilizer because that makes a huge difference when you plant if you could uh, roll that fertilizer in with your seed following Phil going to look at another problem. Alright, so kind of a lot to report here on this one. Just a couple days ago, I spent a couple days down in Tennessee. I did a video collaboration with Joe the Farmer. I put my first episode up, and so did he, but I tried out his Ventrac mower. I'll have a separate video on that, but that thing was awesome. But anyways, we had a great video collaboration. I'll probably put a link or two in the description for you because I had a great time with Joe the Farmer. We have a lot in common. He has a great channel. Um, so stay tuned for some more fun videos um, on our collaboration. All right, here we are on uh, August 18th. Starting to change shape. I need to get down there and start digging the pond trench because uh, all this dirt and that, I'm gonna build the keyway and just have them pile it and basically help me build this pond down here. All right, so what we got here is we're looking inside a lot of this silk is starting to brown up uh, you can see the pollen pods I guess you'd call them all over the place so hopefully we've got so I'm going around making uh, fishing spots trying to clear out all the weeds uh, as far down as I could reach all the way into shore I mean I only got one hand at the moment available but oh, I'm editing the farm blog got a little visitor August 20th We've got a lot of fawns running around this year. A lot of them are singles, though. 
but I think there is one set of doubles. I scoop all the weeds in here, so we'll see in a week or two how it works. It should hold these weeds back for a few months, I'd imagine. So this summer I've been working on a project property. It's a five acre parcel. I've been uh, cutting this new road, putting a couple of campsites in for a couple. So I finally got in here to finish it. So that project video is going to be coming out very soon. We got gravel. I don't remember how many tons on both campsites. It's beautiful and that'll be a project video coming out soon. So I'm always experimenting with machines. So this is my homemade farm beach here and it was getting kind of rough. So I brought out the Bobcat E42 excavator and I tried uh, back dragging it with the blade, but the blade was a little bit too heavy. So unfortunately uh, I had to do some manual labor, some hand raking, but the beach has gotten a little bit cleaned up now. So that's good news. All right, I'm uh, I think close to the top of this ridge. So in the last three or four weeks, um, I've looked at three different potential investment properties. None of them panned out. Now, one was a 70 acre parcel, one was a 90, and one was 159. Um, I think we're just stepping back and, ho and hoping that uh, land values might come down a little with the interest rates going up. But I think right now we're just going to stand pat, try to get caught up on our farm, concentrate on Sharon's project of the new cabin, and uh, try to get caught up a little bit, not get into another property right away. Nice. Where's mama at? Are you just being a naughty teenager? I don't see mom anywhere. Yep, that's a teenager right there, being naughty. Well, I can't wait for the excavator. So I've been behind this year on our own farm because we've been working on side gigs and stuff. So I got all the bush hogging done, or almost all of it, and I finally took the excavator out to our trails with the uh, mini brush cutter. So that's going to be a separate video because it's kind of cool. Um, but I'm slowly trying to get caught up, although I really haven't even started on fall food plots yet. And today's August 20th. Never heard that frog before. I'm gonna tell you what, these uh, uh, washouts are as hard as concrete, and I'm gonna tell you that you know when you hit them. So just some more catching up on the farm. I uh, expanded my gravel turnaround even farther, and I'm regrading this entire hillside. Uh, if you caught them projects, I pulled a whole bunch of like tons and tons of clay out of here to beef up my gravel turnaround so I got back at this project and next thing I'm going to take out the SR3 to regrade this whole hillside but anyways another interesting project that'll be a separate video coming out soon so stay tuned um, I'm looking forward to it uh, but I got a lot done in a short time but now 